Welcome back. Five years ago, marine biologist Nathan Robinson was filmed removing a straw from a turtle's nose. Watched by millions, the heartbreaking video made headlines right around the world, sparking a push for ocean conservation and leading to several major brands banning single-use plastic straws. From the sand to the deep sea, and in 2019, while on assignment, Nathan and a small team of explorers made history when they captured vision of an elusive giant squid for the first time in US waters. Nathan Robinson joins us live from Valencia in Spain. Uh, welcome. Let's start with the uh, squid. Uh, tell us exactly what we're seeing here. Oh, hi, Kylie. Hi, Larry. What we're seeing in that footage is the first time that a giant squid has been recorded in US waters. And this is the second time that this species has ever been caught on camera in its natural habitat, which is huge. When you think that everyone knows the Kraken, everyone knows the giant squid, it's been in movies, it's been in books, it's in old mythology, like Greek legends and Norse legends are talking about the species, but we've never actually seen it alive in its natural habitat in camera until very recently. And that's why this video is so important. Wow, Kylie calls me a mega squid at the morning show Christmas party all the time. The mega squid <laughs> reaches, like, what are we talking, 14 metres in length, but the research suggests there are even bigger ones out there. Is it possible? Yes, it is very possible. And there's no need to be scared of the ocean just yet, but the truth is we just know so little about these species. We haven't got a good understanding of like, how big they can grow. There's reports of individuals getting to 18 meters. And I'm pretty sure once we start doing more research on these animals, um, there's so much more that we can discover. So we could find individuals even bigger than that. Yeah, we just had a little diagram there, like drawn to scale, like huge, <laughs> huge. The their eye is the biggest eye in the animal kingdom. It's actually about 10 inches. So it's, the eye is the same size as like my head. Kylie's not even as big as his left tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> you said tentacle. I said right. tentacle, tentacle right. Right. I did say tentacle. <laughs> You've started... I, I heard tentacle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. Well, big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You've started a GoFundMe campaign to raise money for your next adventure. Uh, you want to go into the deep, deep parts of the ocean. That, that looks pretty deep, those, that, that footage there. Where else do you want to go? We're always hoping to up the ante with this kind of work. And we want to head to the waters of Antarctica. And that's because in the waters of Antarctica, there's the giant squid's like bigger, stronger, meaner cousin, the inventively named colossal squid. Oh. Um, so yes, our goal for our next expedition is to head into these waters and capture this species, which has never been filmed alive in its natural habitat before. There's been a couple of instances where some individuals have been caught in fishing boats and brought to the surface where they're like, semi-dead by the time they film them, but no one's actually seen a live one uh, swimming and searching through its habitat. Wow. Uh, in 2015, you were filmed pulling a plastic straw from a turtle's nose, and a few months later, uh, filmed again uh, pulling a plastic fork from a turtle's mm -hmm. nose. From a marine biologist, someone who loves the ocean and loves all creatures in the ocean, this must be very, very difficult for you to look at. Yes, yeah. I mean, it's, it's tough to witness, but at the same time, it's, it's reality, it's truth for we biologists everywhere, or really anyone who spends their life out in the ocean, we know how bad the situation out there. We know how there's huge reports of kind of islands of plastic throughout the seas. Most of our wonderful beaches are covered and littered in plastic. There's big reports of coral bleaching. There's increasing stories about unsustainable fishing. And these are just the big stories that need to be, need to be shared. So it's tough to see, but it's important to spread that information. Oh. so that people can start making the changes to, to fix these problems. Oh, it's very wow. hard to watch, isn't it? Like, super hard to watch, but such good comes out of that, right? You've been able to achieve such you know, terrific results because it is such an emotional piece of yeah. footage, I guess. Yes, I think it really like no one likes to see these animals no. in harm. Everyone loves, everyone loves sea turtles, so which makes it just so powerful a piece to share mm -hmm. because you start to realise that we, d we have no idea whose fork or whose straw that was. So all of us who's ever used a plastic fork or plastic straw are kind yeah. of responsible. And the idea that just to have a straw in our drink can cause this much pain to a sea turtle is an incredibly powerful tool to start changing people's behaviour. Oh, and these cameras on the back of the turtle, this is amazing, amazing <laughs> pictures, incredible. Uh, you've also been lifting people's spirits during quarantine by showing off your work with pandas. Uh, how important mm -hmm. is it for you to share these stories? 
For me, like the whole goal is to get people excited and passionate about the ocean. So the the giant squid story starts capturing people's like imagination about the deep sea. The pandas are just the heartwarming uh, story about life on land, and then the the sea turtle camera stuff. It's all about grabbing people's imagination because I think once people are excited about the natural world around us, that's going to be the impetus they need to start making those behavioral changes to make our world a cleaner, better place. Well, Nathan Robinson, you have one of the best jobs on planet Earth, honestly. <laughs> yeah, um, wow. So happy that you could join us I love it. from uh, Valencia in Spain this morning. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys, thanks, and mate. thanks for the opportunity to, to, yeah, chat. to be here. And you give me a great idea, too, because people always ask me what Kylie does after the show. I'm going to strap a camera to her back. Just put we a just camera on her. Yeah, <laughs> just follow a live all day. Uh, find out how you can help Nathan and his new expedition. Head across to our website. All the details are there for you.